Installing your Black & Decker Portable Compact Dryer. First, remove all packaging material, ensuring there's no remaining styrofoam at the bottom of the dryer. Ensure you have four leveling legs. Install your compact dryer on a flat surface, away from direct sunlight. Install your leveling legs. It's important to adjust the height level of the legs if on an uneven surface. Do not insert pieces of wood or other objects under the legs. Please note that BCE D26 and BCE D37 are compatible with the BWDS dryer stand. Additionally, BCE D26 and BCE D37 are compatible with B&D washers. Install the dryer away from heating appliances, water taps, or steam. Keep the dryer away from heat, steam, or moisture. The room temperature should not fall below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, allow at least five inches of space between the dryer top, sides, rear, and adjacent walls or surfaces. The electrical requirement for your new Black & Decker compact dryer is 120 volts, 60 hertz, and 12 amps. It's equipped with a three-prong plug, which fits into a standard wall outlet. No hard wiring is required. This compact dryer must be ventilated. The dryer comes with an exhaust connector, when installing the exhaust connector, line it up with the connector on the back of the dryer and turn it clockwise so the tabs fit into the slots. For a downward exhaust, point downward. For an upward exhaust, point upward. It is recommended to vent the dryer outside. If you need a 4-inch diameter UL listed duct hose, you can easily purchase one. You can also purchase a 4-inch diameter indoor ventilation kit. Connect the 4-inch diameter duct hose to the exhaust connector and complete installation according to the ventilation method you selected. Setting up your Black & Decker VCE D15, VCE D26, and VCE D37 portable compact dryer is easy and just takes minutes when you take the proper precautions.